What's up, everyone? Bass here. So when the draft officially ends, when the last pick is made in round seven, teams start going on the phone, uh, contact the guys that didn't get drafted in order to sign them to their team as undrafted free agents. The Packers, more than any other team, does this best. It seems year in and year out, there's always a guy or two that ends up making the roster as an undrafted free agent. So in this video, I wanted to give you guys an updated list and go over the 15 current undrafted free agents that Packers have signed so far give you guys a quick overview of the player as well as a stat line as I said before it seems the Packers always have at least one undrafted free agent make the 53-man roster most recently Jack Heflin last year so these guys are important to keep your eyes on uh, some of the likes of Sammy Shields back in the day was also an undrafted free agent so like I said these are important players to track and keep your eyes on through training camp and of course preseason so we're going to start on offense and start with the wide receiver position the first one on this list is Kiki Chisholm, a 6'4", 209-pound wide receiver from Missouri. And at Missouri in 2021, he had 511 yards and three touchdowns. Next up, we have Danny Davis from the University of Wisconsin. So a Badger getting signed here as an undrafted free agent. Definitely will be interesting to see how he uh, bodes in training camp. A six foot, 196 pound wide receiver. He had 478 yards and two touchdowns his senior year at Wisconsin. Now moving down to the trenches into the offensive line, the Packers signed four undrafted free agents here. First of which being offensive tackle Caleb Jones from Indiana, an absolute unit of a human being, 6'8", 362 pounds. He started all Game, all 12 games at right tackle in 2021, but he also has some left tackle experience as well at Indiana. He is a four-year starter at Indiana with a ton of experience. Next is offensive guard Cole Schneider from UCF, 6'4", 315-pound guard, also a four-year starter, uh, starter at guard with a lot of experience. Then we have offensive lineman George Moore out of Oregon, 6'6", 305 pounds. He saw action pretty much at every single spot across the offensive line except for center at his four years at Oregon. Recently in 2021, he had seven starts at left guard and six at left tackle, so a versatile lineman here. Lastly on the offensive line, we have offensive tackle Jameer Johnson from Texas A&M. He's 6'5", 300 pounds, and he started 11 games at left tackle for Texas A&M in 2021. As for running backs, the Packers did sign two of them, and this is probably the most interesting and the biggest name that they signed as an undrafted free agent, and that is running back Tyler Goodson out of Iowa, 5'10", 199-pound running back. Last year in Iowa, he had a hell of a season, 1,151 yards, six touchdowns on the ground, 247 yards, one touchdown receiving in 2021. Some websites, some draft sites had Tyler Goodson as a fourth or fifth round player. He could very well make this roster and was easily the best running back available as an undrafted free agent. The second running back they signed is B. Jay Baylor out of Oregon State, a 5'11", 205-pound running back, and he actually led the entirety of the Pac-12 um, in rushing yards last year with 1,337 yards and 13 touchdowns, so a ton of production last year. Moving over to the defense, they signed one edge rusher, and that was Chauncey Manick from Louisiana, 6'3", 249-pound outside linebacker. He had 57 total tackles and 10.5 and sacks for 2021. A uh, four-year starter edge for the Raging Cajuns and had a lot of production last year. Down into the trenches for the defensive line, they did sign two defensive tackles, first of which being Akael Byers from Missouri, 6'3", 288 pounds. He had 22 total tackles and one and a half sacks in 2021. Next for the defensive tackle, uh, I'm going to probably butcher his name here, but Huadi Putato uh, from Utah, 6'3", 309 pounds. He had 18 total tackles and three sacks in 2021. The Packers also signed a couple linebackers. Uh, one of the bigger names in this entire list uh, outside of Tyler Goodson is this linebacker, Ellis Brooks from Penn State, 6'1", 230 pounds. He had 100 total tackles his last year at Penn State and one sack in 2021. He was also a player that could have been drafted in the sixth or seventh round, but a priority undrafted free agent here. And the other linebacker they signed is Khalif Bryce out of FAU. He's 6'2", 232 pounds. He had 59 total tackles. 3.5 tackles for loss in 2021 and a traditional Mike linebacker. As for defensive backs, they signed a corner and a safety as undrafted free agents, first of which the cornerback, Rally Texada from Baylor, 5'10", 188 pounds. He ran a 4'3", 540. He had 34 total tackles, one interception, and three pass breakups in 2021. This guy has a ton of experience, and he's another dark horse uh, undrafted free agent, in my opinion. As for safety, they signed Trey Sterling out of Oklahoma State. 5'11", 205 pounds, didn't play much in 2021, only recorded five, or sorry, 15 tackles and 2.5 tackles for loss. There also was a decent list of 
uh, reported rookie tryouts, and I'll put that up on the screen here and talk about them real quick. Cameron K, long snapper out of Troy. The Packers need to address long snapper, so he very well could be <laughs> become the starting long snapper. Um, Kendall Karks, safety out of St. Norbert. Will Ulmer, offensive lineman out of Marshall. Zafir Kelly, cornerback out of South Carolina State. Anthony Turner, wide receiver, Grandview. Max Bortenschlager, quarterback out of FIU. Alex Spillum, safety from Coastal Carolina. Carson Terrell, tight end from Utah State. Ryder, Aaron, Ryder Anderson, excuse me, interior defensive line out of Indiana. Uh, Ryan Wisniewski, wide receiver out of Wisconsin Whitewater. And Will Spears, punter from Clemson. And a couple players out of this list to keep your eyes on. Anthony Turner from Grandview, wide receiver, 6'4", 221 pounds, had 562 yards and seven touchdowns last year in the NAIA. And then safety, Alex Spillum from Coastal Carolina, 6'2", 190 pounds, had 64 total tackles, two interceptions, and five pass breakups in 2021, and has seven total interceptions across his entire college career. So those are all the current undrafted free agents the Packers have signed to their roster. And if I were to choose one out of this entire list... Um, to make the 53-man roster, it would easily be Tyler Goodson. Uh, the Packers running back room, obviously Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, and Kylan Hill, in my opinion, are roster locks. I think uh, Tyler Goodson could fight for that fourth spot with Patrick Taylor, and that's if Green Bay ends up keeping four running backs. I'm really excited to see him in training camp and preseason. He has a lot of talent. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these undrafted free agents you are most excited about. And of course, if the Packers do end up signing more, which they likely will as other teams cut players, um, I will keep you guys updated on this channel. So make sure if you aren't subscribed already, go down, click the subscribe button. Also, leave a like on my video. I appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel a ton. But that about does it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one, and as always, Go Pack Go!